The user logs into the self-service portal and is presented with the portal landing page. The user wishes to oversee the information of their approved provider, so they select the Manage Your Organisation tile. On the Manage Your Organisation page, the provider is able to navigate to view their provider's information by selecting the Provider Details tile. The provider can now view their provider details. To return to the Manage Your Organisations page, select the Back button. The provider will be directed back to the Manage Your Organisation page. Next, the user selects the Services tile to access their service information. On accessing this tile, all users will be able to view a list of services under their organisation or all services they have access to. In the Services section, the user enters the name of the service they're looking for in the search bar and then clicks Apply Filters. Then click View on the desired service from the filtered table. The user can now view the contacts that are associated with this specific service by selecting the Key Personnel and Contacts tile on the Service Details page. To go back, click the Back button. If you want to return to the Services page, then click the Back button again to return to the Manage Your Organisations page. To view the key personnel and point of contacts associated to their approved provider and services, the user can select the Key Personnel and Contacts tile on the Manage Your Organisations page. In the Key Personnel and Contacts section, search for an individual by their name, then select Apply Filters. The user can then select View on the contact the user is searching for from the filter table. On the Contacts Profile page, the user can select Edit under Personal Details. Update the name details, agree to the declaration, and select Confirm to save changes. Back on the Profile page, the user selects Edit under the existing point of contact. Update the main and secondary contact numbers, agree to the declaration, and select Confirm to save changes. A successful banner message will appear at the top of the page. Select Back to return to the Key Personnel and Contacts page. Click Add a Point of Contact, and then select the Add a New Point of Contact button to add a new organisation point of contact. The user is then able to search for an existing point of contact, and if not found, can fill in all the required personal and contact details. The user can also select Alternative Contact as the contact purpose, agree to the declaration and select Add Contact. The user will be directed back to the Key Personnel and Contacts page, where a successful banner message will appear at the top of the page. Back on the Key Personnel and Contacts page, select View for another contact. On their profile page, select Cease under an existing point of contact. Choose the cessation date and confirm. A successful banner message will appear at the top of the page. Finally, the user will return to the Manager Organisation page and select the Third Party Arrangements tile. They can search for a third party by name and select View on the third party from the filtered table. You can now view the third party details. And that's how you navigate to view and update your information in the self-service portal. Thank you for watching.